a previous video, we discussed adding parts and assemblies individually from a project. But in some cases, you'll need the ability to import many items into the database at once. This is simple to do using our Import Parts and Assemblies Excel spreadsheet. Click the Settings drop-down in the top right-hand corner and select Material, and then Import Export Parts. Now let's download the Part Import Spreadsheet that can be used to add items in bulk and then import items back into the system. When the spreadsheet opens, you'll see a list of columns that can be filled out moving left to right with the details of the part. There are many columns, but only two are required, part name and the unit of measure. And there are a few others that we would suggest filling out, like labor hours, unit cost, and optionally manufacturer and catalog number if you're dealing with multiple versions of the same item from different manufacturers. At the bottom of the screen, there are two tabs, parts and assemblies. Once you load all of your parts on the spreadsheet, you can build multi-layered assemblies using the row number of the part. You'll need to enter the assembly name and unit of measure. The description and catalog number are optional. And lastly, you'll enter the items and quantities in the assembly by typing in the row number from the previous sheet, followed by the quantity in parentheses, and separated by a semicolon. So in this example, the first part is row number 2 on the previous parts tab with a quantity of 5. The second item is row number 3 with a quantity of 1. Note that if you do not specify a quantity, it will assume 1. And lastly, row number 4 with a quantity of 2.5. A couple of notes regarding the syntax. Between the row number, quantity, and semicolon, you can include spaces or exclude spaces and it'll work just fine either way. Okay, let's save our spreadsheet and upload it to Esticom and review the data. Back in Esticom, we'll click Import Parts from Excel File and browse to the spreadsheet. It's saved in the Downloads folder by default. A prompt will come up and tell you how many parts and assemblies were uploaded and are updated. Now browse down to the Imports folder and you'll see the new parts uploaded with the date and time as the file name. Here you can rename the folder and drag it to a new location or you can open the folder and copy the parts out and into a previously existing folder as such. In a follow-up video, we'll go over the process of updating materials on an ongoing basis.